guys, and welcome to the, another episode of Building in Your Underpants with Cable Guy. And in this episode, I'll be showing you how to make a couple small trees, like this juniper tree behind me, and the custom spruce tree over here. And later on in the video, I will show you what a bunch of a group of them look together on a server I play on. Okay, right, guys, enjoy the video. All right, guys. So the first tree I'll make for you it will be like a juniper type tree. You know, a tall, you know, kind, kind of tall and skinny. So first thing, I'll just throw in the the wood for the tree, and then the next, I'll start placing leaves. And the leaves I like to use is spruce and acacia. And so what you'll want to do is what I usually do first. You know, I kind of get an idea how big I want the tree or how tall I want it. And then I just make kind of just sort of make columns. You know, like so. And then <clears throat> once I get those in, I like to place in, you know, some, you have a little bit more body. And then a couple there, maybe more down here. You know, just kind of have to play around with it until you see something that you like. So, there we go. Kind of liking that. I'm do a little bit more on this side. And down there. So now that you have. So now you know, kind of have a nice looking little tree. And now what I'll, I'll now I'll use the acacia to kind of you know to give it a little little detail, you know, a little variety. Kind of like that. And actually, we'll leave that one out. And I like to punch some leaves out too to make it look you know a little bit more you know just just a little more natural. And just kind of. You, know, you kind of do it until you have something that you kind of like. And that's pretty much how I do these smaller trees. So, there we go. And one thing, too, you can do if you wanted to is you could add, uh, oops, I'm doing my commands here. You could add a light in here somewhere, like say, like right here. But, it's hard to hide those lights like that. They kind of they really stick out. I don't like to use them. I mean, you can do them. You can do those if you want to. It's you know, it's whatever. But you know, like that. Eh, I think that looks pretty good. Actually, let's move this one down one. There we go. And now, I think it needs a little, a couple more. You know, make it look a little better. And you can definitely use the logs instead of the uh, or the not the logs but the. Uh, the four-sided bark ones, I can't think of what they're called at the moment, but yeah. You can t to hide the bark, but I don't know, sometimes I think that looks pretty good like that. Okay, now for the second tree that I'll show you how to do today is a kind of a customized spruce tree. Now, you, I mean, we have these spruce trees in the game, which aren't bad, I admit, but I think we can do better. And so, of course, again, I like to start with the spruce again. And this time, I think, you know, I'll give it a little extra at the bottom, too. But this time, I think I will have it, you know, kind of lean over a little bit, like so. I think that'll be good. And then, of course, again, I like to use spruce and acacia leaves again. But, I mean, you can use whatever leaves you want to. I mean, there's no rule against, you know, this kind of leaf. Now, for the, for the spruce, though, when I start putting leaves, I kind of like to add, like, layers. And you want the layers to be thicker at the bottom, or longer, at, thicker and longer at the bottom than they are at the top. I always kind of like to go at an angle here and start a little higher. So we have somewhere to go, you know, and, you know, just, just add a little, you know, here and there until you have something you kind of like. So I think that's decent for a layer over here. Let's get another one going over here. And I'll be right back and I'll show you after a couple layers what I've done. All right, as you can see, I've added a couple layers of the leaves here, you know, and I think it looks pretty good, you know, definitely longer, they spread out longer on the bottom, and, and I have them sag as a, because, you know, they don't, they're not going to go upwards, so I'm going to just get smaller as I go around, and then as I get towards the top, you know, I'll go even shorter. You know, just, you know, 
was kind of at him. I mean, I don't think you can really place a, a leaf at too out of place. That you'll ruin the whole tree if it's one leaf placement. So, just keep going around, and eventually you'll find what you like. See, I'm almost done here. There, there. I think that looks pretty good. And then I have a little bit up here. Maybe that way? No. Not like that. Just add one more, I think. A couple more. And see, there we go. And I think I think that is a decent looking tree. Is it derpy? A little bit? Maybe. But I like it. And now, I'll just go in again and we'll just replace some blocks here. And... You know, just to give it, I really think it helps with a little bit of a depth issue. You know, kind of, kind of see what you, you can kind of see what you're looking at a little better. So it's not all just one pattern. It really helps to break it up, I think. So, kind of like that. And, put some more on there. Oh, I think, I think we're about done. And there we go. And I think... That is a neat looking little tree, you know. I think is I think is a lot more interesting than this little plain Jane one over here. Like I said in the beginning, I thought I'd show you what it looked like when there's a few of them together. And I think I, I think these two style trees work well together. And I'm sure that there's other styles of trees as well that will work as well. And I should mention that this is on a Patreon server that I play on for. Tango Tech, it's called Titancraft, and it's a survival-only server. And in the next next couple episodes I release, I'll be doing a tour of the spawn that I've built for him. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And you guys have a good day. Bye!